Um, whenever I have this opening play here where I go to the figure four and lock it on this side. So let's remember, first of all, that we're not trying to lock this down on his back like this. We're cutting an angle. Watch this movement. I press him away here. I pull this towards me and my hips are off the ground. And it makes an easy little cut. Now I can just hold on to that shin, lock it there. And that's a, I mean, that's a nice tight hold here. If he continues to hold around my hip here, so let's say he's around my hip, if he's holding on right there, there's, to me it's kind of pointless to try to tap him with a triangle, like a choke at this point. So what we're gonna do, stomp the floor and lift my, so I want you to uh, be firm with your base, like you really don't want me to do that. I'm gonna stomp the floor and lift my hip here. So you guys see how I twist my torso, I aim my knees this way and I follow that with my body. You see? And now the play is to get hanging on the back of that elbow there. Once you've done that, I want you to go under, stack your hands, leave it bent there. I'm not gonna pull it off. <laughs> but he wants to let go of those hands. You guys see that? He's like, no, no, please stop. I'm lifting this way with my bicep, which makes him straighten it. As he straightens it, I'm gonna collect it and go, down into the inverted arm lock now. So the first two plays that we're gonna hit him with to finish him inside of the reverse figure four, the switch figure four. We wanna lock it up over here, man, but dude, look how much meat is inside that triangle. There's no way really that I'm gonna finish anybody worth their salt right here. So I press him, pull, and reconnect on the other side. That's super easy. Twist and stomp him to the ground and hang your body weight off of him. Look, I'm off the floor. Go under here, get the tap on the Kimura. He straightens it, trap it, and break the inverted arm lock right there. All right, ready? One, two, three. We're about to talk about alternate finishes from this switch figure four triangle. And I'm gonna play them this example. I'm not gonna warn them ahead of time either. I'm just gonna play it for them. This is Ethan Kralenston who's uh, may, he might be the best in the world with this reverse triangle Kimura. He's killed a lot of people with it. Watch this. Oh my god. Oh. Okay. Okay. Anyway, we're all going to study that together. I'm not going to warm at all. All right, I'm about to show you something, but I want you to see this first before you start cranking on your friend's shoulder, okay? Before you start thinking, I don't think I have to tap out to this. I want you to see this, okay? Uh, keep your eyes open. Okay, now let's go back, let's look at it. So, it's here. Now, did you guys notice that when he did it, it looked like his feet were on the inside over here. Did y'all pick up on that? Because he's driving the weight over here. And so now when he finally feels into the Kimura, he's got all of this push, and because I've got him blocked here, he doesn't have the opportunity to straighten it and take it back. And you see the guy in that video, he tries to straighten the arm, straighten the arm. That puts a lot of pressure on the elbow too. And I've still got the shoulder. As the arm starts to straighten, this starts to transfer into the humerus bone. And if you go back and look at Nog, uh, Big Nog versus Frank Mir in the UFC, when he straightened his arm a little bit right here, it spiral fractures the humerus, the, up, the upper bone in the arm, right? So keep that in mind, right? Just because you're straightening, it doesn't mean and, you, and the pressure is leaking out of the shoulder, it's leaking into a spiral frack he just tapped in your humerus bone. So uh, Mark Hunt, I think, also uh, got tapped with that by Sean McCorkle, actually. Boy, you gotta dig into the archives to have that one. I think it was Mark Hunt. I know Sean McCorkle did somebody like that. Uh, anyway, put the block on him here. And remember when we're finishing a Kimura, that it's done by using my body. I'm gonna pull him to the floor here with this elbow as I put my belly button on the floor right on top of it. 
And he's already tapped. And look how much farther I can still turn my body, man, without even having to adjust. So we got, oh man, we want this triangle. It's not working out. Press away, pull in. Look how my hands have a job the whole time. This is definitely not what I'm doing. Press him away, get your hips off the ground so that you can move a little bit and hold him right there. We're in a good spot right here. Place him right into the floor. Try to peel this out. And if you can get to here, then you can pull him back to start locking your Kimura in. You guys see that? And now it's a, I, I like in this case, I like the thumb here because I got a block that stops him from coming back this way. Normally I like something like this, but it's actually easier for him to start to straighten there in that case. So I like this, straighten your arm now. Nasty. Okay, you guys handle it? One, two, three. Who do you think I hate the most? Cause that's who I need to do this to. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, you're right. It's the right call. Sean? Will you be my partner for this? Up there, kid. Did you be on phone with Do it up for sure. Peace in your crotch. <laughs> Not you. Um, bang, bang here. Can't peel him out. Too strong. Posture's up. Man, can't get him out of here. Having a tough time. Uh, we <laughs> we call this the gag reflex. Right. Everybody see this? Does everybody know what the word impale means? Okay, we're going to impale him on this stick here. So I put this stick in the floor, I lift my hip, and I slide it right there on his throat. And then I fold him over that stick. You hear the noise? This is called a gag reflex. Way more fun to watch this So look, he's buried in. If, if he will give me the arm, I prefer that to be honest, because it's easier. Um, this is a reaction for a guy who's really buried in. It's like super posture on me, like do your thing. Be, be ultra Sean. Yeah, go, go ultra Sean. Perfect. And you fold it over the top. Okay, you only have to take two and then, then it's somebody else's turn. Uh, my friend, there can only be one Brandon in this gym, dude. <laughs> it can be only one. Yeah, either side. So we're into this same play now. Uh, keep this no matter what. You may have to even lock your hands together. Posture. You're a dog now. Head on the ceiling. Oh man, this is a real problem. I'm having trouble even gaining his posture. Look, same side as the trap because that's the free side. Look, I don't do this because I'm, I'm weak out this way. That's not a strong motion. I close it in here and I just lay a stick right here and I fold his head over the stick and he can't tap fast enough. Yeah? That's a good one. <laughs> one, two, three. <laughs> All right, look. Not that easy to lock him up. Like, I do it real well, and I still have trouble locking him all the way up. Posture up here. Oh, man, this is a posture. Posture. This is a real problem. Posture up. Oh, man, this is a real problem. Perfect. Lay him right into it. You guys got it? So you don't have to think that's good. You don't have to think that. <laughs> yeah, just from home base. Run him right there. This is for a dude who's committed his hands together like, He's not trying to leave. He's trying to wear you out and make sure you don't want to do the triangle anymore, right? So when he, uh, uh, that really happens a lot, like when there's a big size disparity. Um, and I do that. If I get in a triangle, I'm not trying to leave. I want you to burn your legs out before I leave. That way you're done when I get on the mount. You know, I don't want you having any energy left. So I'll kind of wait you out if I think I can survive, especially if I think you're using a lot of energy. Good time. Hit him with that gag reflex right from home base. So when he's committed, arms together around the hips. Oh, I got him. Man, keep going. Good luck, Brandon, getting anything on this guy. Look right there and just, yeah, don't let me do it. Fold him right around him. And you feel how I use my knees to pull you in too? Yeah, I feel it. I pull him right there, right on top of that stick, okay? Not, uh, not this, I'm using my knees to bring him in. The same motion that we do when we go here and we pull him in. That's the same, now he postures up, he's a beast. We do it again, pull him in right over the top of him. 
Instant tap. Uh, shout out to Rob Parrish on this gag reflex. He just hit this in competition uh, at the brown belt. So it works in competition. But major shout out to Einstein because he's the one that showed me this initially. And like I fell in love, you know what I'm saying? <laughs>